Experience. I skipped the cutscene. Reek. <laughs> this is all for charity, okay? All for the name of love. <laughs> okay, so we're having a problem with our audio setup, I guess. S some issues may occur from time to time. Is it the cable? Yeah, okay. Whatever, we're going to have some, uh, some real more time right now. As long as long as the uh, as long as the audi our twi audience on Twitch can hear it, uh, we're happy, I guess. I hope. Yes, we are. Good. <laughs> okay, welcome back to uh, More to Chicken, where I don't skip any cutscenes. Just Be put down the controller, Rick. <laughs> I'm Chicken Little, and I'm Henny Penny. Paca. Paca. Once again, presenting the controversial videotape received earlier today. From a mysterious dimension parallel to the Earth. I remember this being the reason I was invited. <laughs> I am Colonel Cubicles, leader of the Bullion. We are speaking to you now to issue an ultimatum. Free the cubes. Free the cubes. Or taste our vengeance. You have 24 hours. We received this tape 23 hours and 50 minutes ago. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> our expert joins us. Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in crowd control and alien invasions. Carl Cockerell, the bullion? Should we be afraid? We should always be afraid, Henny, whether a threat is real or not. If any stranger enters your area, remember to cluck hysterically, flap your wings, and run around in circles. We're chickens. That's what we do. Thank you, Carl Cockerell. For New Center 12, I'm Henny Penny reminding you, if you want bread, you've got to help bake it. And I'm Chicken Little. The sky is falling. <laughs> <laughs> You might have already seen that this game does not take itself very seriously, and that definitely works in favor of this game. <laughs> because otherwise, it's not a good game! I agree. If you Google the IGN review, do, do you hate your kid and want to punish him or her? Well, we got the best gift game for you. That's this game. Gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not the script. Today, we're giving it to you. Aw, the chicks! <laughs> That's what you call a chick magnet. Too early. Aww. <laughs> and all of a sudden, there goes Mort. The hero we need. I have an FFZ emote like that. Feel free to use it. The hero we need. All right. So I guess we, we can start in a little bit. It's time ready. All right, let's start in three, two, two one, go. go. Don't forget to turn on analog. <laughs> All right, so that's the thing. <laughs> the biggest uh, piece of speed tech I already have is the moment we, st we go into a level, we can um, basically blast ourselves out of it and gain blast. a lot of distance. And that was the first level already. Our, Dang. our objective is getting all of the chicks Dang. as fast as possible and get as few coins as possible. Silence. I bring you horrible news. Silence. To the miracle of fuzzy video, we, that is I, Shubicles, your leader, have learned that a number of our brethren are kept as slaves by the formless squishy things who live in the universe parallel to our own. They took our cubes. <laughs> Silence. In retaliation, we took a number of the small squishy things, which we will keep until the cubes are released. Silence. These squishy things have sent a ruthless commando, known as Mort the Chicken, to rescue these small squishy things which we have captured. And he has met with some success. Therefore, I, Cubicles, implore you, find this Mort the Chicken. Bounce on him. Run over him. Roll over him. Smash him. Spin on him. Damage him. Jump on him. Smash him. Smash Mort the Chicken! Mort the Chicken must fly! This is like the only serious cutscene in the whole game. I, Cubicles, have spoken. Oh, Mort could have conferred for Smash? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Factory. So, the only other big speed tech is if you hold R1, you run. So, you want to keep it pressed as much as possible. Another thing is that you can't actually die. Like, the moment 
I just fly over that. All I'm holding is run and the direction. You can't actually fall into a bottomless pit. Impossible. That was some epically long gameplay. <laughs> actually. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Panic and pandemonium struck a sleepy farm today as odd cube-like creatures snatched up baby chicks seemingly at random. Penny? The number of chickens missing is still unknown. Our inability to count has hindered the effort. Chicken? <laughs> it all took place here, during the live taping of the popular Mort the Chicken television program. Mort and the wacky gang were apparently in the middle of a good old-fashioned hoedown when disaster struck. <laughs> The slow motion shot. Mort the chicken himself, in an act of bravery or stupidity, leaped down the well after the chicks. Why these cubes took the chicks remains a mystery. And there's an even bigger mystery. Henny? TV's Mort the chicken. Why would the star of a children's television show leap down a well? Very unchicken like. What got into him? Is he insane? Is he a hero or in cahoots with these cubes? Joining us for this discussion is Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in television personality analysis and appropriate barnyard behavior. Dr. <laughs> Cockerell, Mort the Chicken, help, hindrance, menace, hero? Whatever else he is, Mort is a chicken. As a chicken, he is genetically hardwired for panic. By not panicking, he's betrayed his chicken nature and by extension, us. If he's part of the problem, in other words, he's a problem. And if he's trying to solve the problem, well, he's still a problem. So if he's helping, he's a problem. And if he's a problem, he's a problem. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Cockerell. My pleasure. Until our next update, I'm Henny Penny. Don't count those chickens until they're hatched. Henny Penny. <laughs> and I'm Chicken Little. Never cross the road unless you know why. <laughs> <laughs> Production team just uh, lost it. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> so... Something really important about this game is there are power-ups. This is the, the spring thing. This is spring, you jump really high. And that was maybe the hardest jump in the whole game. So that was, that was cool. I'm also trying to get as few coins as possible. Oh, that is bad. The moment you get hit, uh, where is it? One of your uh, chicks actually gets stuck in the cube. Oh, man. So you have to... Say that boy again. Flap and peck and flap and peck. Now that's to the red, uh, right Aww. chicken. <laughs> uh, what level is this? I don't know. Oh, monuments. Yeah. What do you think so far, Buck? I am uh, amazed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the physics are also really weird. Like, you think you uh, have a good platformer and then this game appears and you have to relearn how to basically walk in video games. I mean, yeah? uh, I mean, don't these physics go by the by the principle be there or be square? Yep. Or cube in this case. <laughs> but yeah, the moment you actually fall, you do a little jump, so you can't jump immediately after that. I hear the banjo and in the intro. Penny. The cube kidnap crisis continues. Joining us live at the barnyard is correspondent Charles Chicken. Charles? This is Charles Chicken reporting live. I don't like being here. I'm frightened. Don't worry, that's <laughs> normal. What's the situation there? One brave barnyard fowl is going to follow in Mort the Chicken's footsteps. Don't make me! I don't want to go! Chicken Cam exclusive live coverage of the dangerous alternate dimension where our chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charles Chicken. <laughs> Stay tuned for more live coverage of the ongoing crisis. Until next time, remember, if you're going to flock together, make sure your feathers are similar. And if you have eggs, always <laughs> put them in more than one basket. That's a rule of thumb. What's a thumb? Words of the uh, same feather stick together. <laughs> What's a thumb? <laughs> if you flock together, make sure your feathers are similar. <laughs> oh, come on. That's yeah. a good one. The cathedral, this is the graveyard of speedruns. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to ruin this game for you. Every time you get a chick, the chick is going to say, Hey, Mort. You're welcome. I hear it now. Oh, oh. And get I'm another, amazed. Get another power-up. Your power-ups reset every time you go into a new level? 
Uh, yeah. Because uh, hmm. I was like, I'm sure I've seen this power up before. That is very much true. So, if the host has anything to say, I think this might be. Oh, that was coin glitch, I think. So, this is the well that he's going in. Well, well, well. <laughs> All right, well, we don't have any new donations at the moment, but hey, um, we, I just want to like take this break to thank ESA for supporting our event and for allowing us to stream on their channel again. You can consider using your free monthly Twitch Prime sub right here on the ESA channel, uh, which gives you access to both the ESA and the BSG modes, and it supports both of our events. Oh, I'm a chick magnet. I was too early with that statement, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, that, that was unfortunate. Um, oh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Jump. I like how his head turns every time when you jump. <laughs> and only that, it's like a feature where you just, where you just uh, look to the back. Okay, that, that was still good. I am reminded of that video where pe people actually hold a chicken and then they move the body, but the head remains in place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's gold. That's a really cool the video. Dance hits ever made. You get funky chicken by the Chickadelics. Shake your tail feather by Cogburn and the Coops. Got to get my talons on you by the artist formerly known as Rooster. Baby, 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 what do you see? What are, are what are those chicks wearing? They seem to be wearing red hats. Yeah, a Christmas hat. Oh wow, <laughs> that, that's really considerate of the cubes. Like, they didn't have the hats before, so they must have had them from uh, from the cubes. Well, they sort of look a bit like uh, these straw hats. Um, yeah. they're, like, they're Santa hats. I didn't <laughs> recognize them as Santa hats. <laughs> It's time for the news. I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. What's it all about? Why are they taking our chicks? Are they as afraid of us as we are of them? Why is the portal to their world at the bottom of a well? Let's get some answers from our resident expert, author of Your Inner Egg, Who Needs to Fly, and the Coop of Tomorrow, Dr. Carl Cockerell. Carl Cockerell, these cubes, our chicks, explanation? Henny, it could be just as simple and harmless as it seems. These cubes have always been down there, shy, but curious. When they heard our youngsters laughing and having a good time, maybe they just came up to see what the fuss was about. So why did they kidnap the chicks? Well, maybe they haven't been kidnapped. Maybe they're just having a sleepover. Maybe they made a play date. But what if this well has somehow become a gateway to another dimension, a dimension composed entirely of cubes? That's ridiculous, Henny. If you're going to indulge in random speculation, which is my job, by the way, you might as well say that we're all just images on a screen being manipulated by large featherless bipeds in some kind of video game. How do you like that? Huh? Thank you, Carl Cockerell. Now I hear a fourth wall breaking. <laughs> just now? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have no clue what level I'm in. Oh, coins. This is the hardest level. I need some serious time. Serious business. <laughs> Oh, go on. That's the right chicken. You like Cuba. Sometimes that happens when you when you kill a cube there. Yeah. Okay. Here's something fun. This is not fast in any way, shape, or form, but all of your chicks are now bazookas. Bazookas? <laughs> 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 I wasn't expecting to hear the word bazooka there. Uh, oh, there they are. I was about to say, uh, yeah, the, the bazooka is slow, but <laughs> that was fun. Got a little bit too many coins. Okay, whatever. It's for Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> it's, it's for science, right? Oh. 
So this is, might be the best track of the game. It starts up serious and then, well, just listen. And the banjo starts going on. I love the banjo. <laughs> Good stuff. Definitely. <laughs> and some quality gameplay. Can we get some more news? I'm Chicken Little. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm Annie Penny. Penny. Today, more baby chicks erupted from the well thanks to Mort a chicken. Hero, Oh, TV here's a background star, story. And dear friend. You and Mort go quite a ways back, don't you, Chicken? Oh, yes, Henny. Gosh, you know it feels like yesterday when we first met. Here at the scene of NASA Propulsion Laboratory, where the ever so publicized rocket sled is about to be tested. Joining me live is the test pilot. They call him Mortimer Chicken. Even though you're terrified, Mortimer, you're a better chicken than me. You wouldn't catch me in a rocket sled going 500 miles an hour. Where do you get the guts? <laughs> okay, here we go. They're strapping him in. There seems to be a little resistance. <laughs> okay, a, a lot of resistance. <laughs> it's a noise. In, and we're ready to go. I can see the engineers running around. They're almost ready. And there's the countdown. Three, two, one. Blast off! And there it goes, over 500 miles per hour with the world's bravest chicken at the helm. The force is incredible. <laughs> you, most chickens will be stone cold dead after a ride like that. Baby Mort felt so lucky to be alive that nothing scares him anymore. He'll probably be dead soon, but until then, we'll admire him. I think Mort's adorable. I'm Henny Penny. And I'm Chicken Little. Now back to the game. Already in progress. Now they're now he's uh, friendly again. Yeah. Where did we go? Islands? Yeah. Islands. <laughs> oh, here's some actual, actual speed tech. So... I'm gonna try and make a jump, but I can't actually reach high up, like, I can't actually reach it. But if I do a corkscrew, I get just a little bit of extra height to jump over this ledge. Or walk away. Yes, more to do that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, difficult. Do you know why everyone is cubes? Everything is like cubes shaped. Yeah. Because it's easier to make. Be on the lookout for this duck. He is presumed armed. I mean, winged and very dangerous. Uh -huh. And this is a long and boring level. And that jump is actually pretty difficult for beginners, believe it or not. Just because of how the geometry of this level is. Yeah, we have to destroy a lot of these glass towers. They look a bit like gelatin to me. <laughs> I mean, it could very well be gelatine. Uh, they're like glass uh, prisms because they can actually jump inside of it. Oh, almost. And it's like really random if you actually go through the f uh, floor or not. Got out to Mort. And that's all of them. Yep. Trying to get a lot of those, yeah. There's one worse level. So, Doctor, what part of the chicken does the nugget come from, exactly? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe the best, the best one. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Space Bridge, yeah. I don't really know the level order. I mean, and I knew this one was coming. It's still really hard. In any case, because I was so fast, and I'm going to say that, the enemies there at the beginning didn't spawn, so yay. Space, we're in space. Oh. Oh. Okay, so look, all I'm holding is that I can't fall. You can't die here. Oh, so I do want to give major shout outs to Joel Nier. Uh, he did a run at ESA three years ago, and Joester 
who is my senpai in this game. He taught me everything I needed to know, which is not much. <laughs> not as not as those boys. They made the speedrun the way it is. And Tony, he is somehow followed me into running this game, and all I can say to him is, why? <laughs> Is there a maximum of uh, chicks yeah. that can follow you? You can only get 12 chicks at one time, so because there are 36 chicks, you need to uh, plan your uh, routing accordingly. Three trips, that is. Yeah. And that was perfect. Oh, huh. that's nice. So, because I got a lot of those coins, this might actually take a while. Yeah, there they are. Oh, there's another one. Uh, are there any cool cutscene stuff? I know. <laughs> I know one. Or, yeah, there are a few cutscenes left. This is art. Welcome to Garden. Oh, what an eventful name! <laughs> oh yeah, that egg that I just got with the, with the magnet. Sometimes the thing doesn't spawn. The thing that I did, which was uh, walking a little bit away from it, is actually a way to make it consistently spawn. That was so weird the first time I, uh, I tried to do that and it wasn't there. At least that's the easiest one to despawn. I really hope I got the one on the floor there. Because I didn't hear it. Yeah, okay, I got all of it. It's really weird. The moment you have all of your chicks, they will start chirping and singing and being happy. Which is good, obviously. That's okay. a nice uh, way yeah. to check. <laughs> There's one more level. Pet. Now scratch. I wish there was more. Okay. The last ice level. It's not too difficult, but it's also easy to get hit by one of the, the cubes. And this might be one of the laggier levels. Hey, Mort. Oh. Those stars I actually do not want to get because they are worth 10 coins. And it definitely adds a little bit on the on the tally screen. Single coins uh, doesn't matter too much. Okay, time for boss fights. Yeah, two boss fights and then the game is Ooh. done. Two in a row or? Yeah. <laughs> there are two more of these. Just so you know. Okay, uh, boss fight. How do I do this? There is this cute boy. Blockman. Yeah, this is Blockman. Hello. And give me one more, one more blue one. You want the one that's him colored? Oh, this might be bad. Oh, oh yeah, there you this have might it. be bad. Like it can happen that either the well or the chicks are out of bounds if you if you finish that in that little S path. And Fortunately, that didn't happen. Okay, so uh, this is cube face. This is cubicles. <laughs> And time is coming up, by the way. Yeah, it's definitely oh. be there or be square, right? I, yeah, I almost had a glitch where the dice was actually stuck inside of him. Ooh. Okay, and time. Well, well done. Oh, time to spare. What's the time? And this 21. Is the news. Oh, seven. Our long nightmare is finally over. At this hour, the war between the cubes and the soft, squishy things has ended in peace. And it turns out it was all based on a simple misunderstanding. We thought the soft, squishy things, which we now know are called chickens, had kidnapped cubes from our world. But we've now learned that these cubes are not cubes at all. Well, they are cubes, but they're not cube cubes, if you know what I mean. They're food for a larger squishy thing with split hooves called a cow. I don't pretend to understand it. All I know is the danger is over. Here to explain it is our leader, Cubicles. Also, look at his army. Silence. Oh, okay, you, you weren't talking. It is I, Cubicles. We have engaged <laughs> in a great war with the soft, squishy things we know as chickens. I believed 
that these chickens had imprisoned certain of our kind. This was my bad. Funny story, these were not real living cubes, but stacks of food that looked like cubes. <laughs> like tofu or, or marshmallows. They are called hay bales or hay stacks. They are inanimate, not alive at all. They are eaten by cows, a larger, soft, squishy thing. So, I almost got us all killed for nothing. Joke's on us. <laughs> Sorry about that. But all's well that ends well. Can I still be your leader? Silence? Well, okay then. But we could have been in danger if we had been in danger. Oh, never mind. I am so out of here. Is Mort the chicken any less a chicken for a being a hero? Maybe it's okay to be brave. No, I don't think he's less of a chicken. And this is some uh, recorded gameplay. I don't know why. I like how they apply the blurry filter oh, on top of yeah. it. <laughs> they actually use Big Hat's uh, cheats here. That might be demo. But these enemies are also not in this level, they're green. This is the secret bonus level. Yeah, I don't think there's... Oh, that's Big Hat again. Are there any uh, other categories for this game, actually? No. This is not even a category. The only category is any percent. Uh, there is no 100%. Like, the coins, they do nothing. The coins do not matter. <laughs> no. They just slow you down. But still feel free to donate coins to our good cause. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice bridge, I guess. Oh, long neck. You missed it. Ah. Okay, uh, there are two things that, that I can show off. I assume it's pretty okay. Okay, that was long neck. Uh, okay, first of all, the credits. That's not what I want to show. I'm going to destroy that person over there. Uh, this is a cheat screen. Hello. Here, listen. Uh, okay, fine. How do chickens dance? To chick. <laughs> I'm laughing to Which you. dance will a chicken not do? The foxtrot. <laughs> Why did the Roman chicken cross the road? Because he was afraid someone would seize her. <laughs> Why did the unwashed chicken cross the road twice? Because he was a dirty double crosser. Wow. <laughs> what do you call a joke book for chickens? A yolk book. <laughs> Why did the rooster cross the road? To cock a doodle do something. Oh, man. That one's really bad. <laughs> Why did the turkey cross the road? To prove he wasn't chicken. <laughs> what did the chicken do when he saw a bucket of fried chicken? He kicked the bucket. <laughs> what do you get from a drunk chicken? Scotch eggs. <laughs> Why does a rooster watch TV? For entertainment. This is real. <laughs> How do you stop a rooster from crowing on Sunday? Eat him on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> what did the baby chick say when he saw his mother sitting in an orange? Dad, Dad, look what Mama laid. I uh, kid you not, there are four more of these cheats. Wow. <laughs> no, okay. There's just one thing that I can probably show off. And then we'll end it off, really. Because we're overdue on whatever the next game is. I forgot. Uh, so now we have the debug menu on. Uh, triangle. That's new? Yeah, okay. Well, first of all... There's now a debug menu, and one of those things, uh, where is the interesting one? Mort's neck length. Oh god. If I hold circle for a bit, what's a nice number? 69? No, we're not doing 69. Ah! Okay, uh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> this could be infinitely long. But it, it does actually change the gameplay, and I have still no idea what this, uh, what this thing does. Go away. <laughs> okay, so uh, 
I'll, I'll about we crash the game. Ooh. And for that, I want to give shout out to Joaster. He taught me how to do it. Uh, velocity could be really high. I can imagine velocity crashing a game. <laughs> oh, it's not only velocity. It's also uh, gravity. Oh. You know what lies at uh, what? Gra gravity? Jump speed. <laughs> what if it's negative? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> yep. And it, this might take a few tries, but if you go f uh, fast enough, which I don't think I'm going fast enough, you can always change that. Oh, he's going faster from the looks of it. Yeah, it does seem like it. Yeah, he's uh, definitely zooming fast. <laughs> Poor chicken. Okay, <laughs> uh, where's Losty here? <laughs> Even higher. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I just should just give up. Uh, what happens is that the screen is going to like flash all the time and it's pretty seizure inducing, I, I would say. But I, but I, Oh, that was bad, actually. Whatever. <laughs> and if, if we go into the main menu, the chicks there will also just fly up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. We're, we're done, I guess. Oh, wait. Did they just keep responding? Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed whatever this game this was. <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Poor chicks. Oh.